Hey, what's going on there, folks? This is Charles Ellison coming to you live for another Civil 3D lesson. Brand new tutorial. Uh, we are going to be getting into, uh, let me unhighlight this. Uh, we're going to be getting into a, a brand new exercise. Brand new exercise that will be, it will be featured within Civil3D.tv. So if you have time, feel free to go to civil3d.tv and sign up for free tutorial updates every month get a brand new list of live streams just like this where we go we go over brand new content brand new features of civil 3d if you're just getting your feet wet into civil 3d these live streams they're nice and slow and they're perfect for being able to just you know get your feet wet into the program here you can go and visit past live streams. Here's a free tutorial that uh, we've got right here, editing points in Civil 3D. This is a nice long uh, live stream. It's probably about maybe, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes long, but it's, it's just a, a single exercise to where I'm just going through the content very, very slowly. And eventually that content will get edited into a, ver a more concise, tutorial that if you're interested in more concise exercises or more concise lessons, feel free to go to the free trial. Let's close out of this. This is the Civil 3D Essentials subscription. It gives you all access to all of the more concise tutorials that Civil 3D offers. And it's a little bit more organized. All of these tutorials, they get added into the list of courses that I offer here, along with a zip folder containing all the exercise files. So if you become a member, then you get access to all the exercise files, making things a little bit easier for you. Some people, they're, they're more interested in uh, just getting straight to the point. Uh, they like to move fast, but these live streams are more, again, for people that like the slower pace. And... I've been featuring these streams within my Civil 3D Live 24-7 stream where I've just been kind of shuffling a lot of the, these live streams within um, just a, a live stream to where you can, you know, visit whenever, uh, whenever you like. This YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash Civil 3D is where you can go. You can join to become a member within... YouTube and YouTube when you become a member then you also get access to a lot of the concise more concise videos but you get a free three-day trial when you go this route so this this route is a little bit more beneficial if you're interested in doing something like that so now that that's all out of the way let's get to the down and dirty Check a few things real quick here. Bear with me. Check some information here. Okay, we're good to go with that. Just bringing my exercise files up. Okay, it looks like we have an excellent con connection here. All right, that's out of the way. So in this lesson, we're going to be learning about creating a label style that displays a user-defined property. In the last exercise, we went over creating user-defined properties, but, uh, but in, the, in this exercise, you'll create a label style that dis displays user-defined property information for a point. Okay, we're going to be creating a label style that displays, again, a user-defined property information and it uses 
the drawing from points-4b, which is located in your tutorials folder for those that are subscribers. So when you open this up, we have all of these points. A lot of these points are for the pond, and we've got some storm manhole points here as well. But once we've opened up the points-4b drawing, you can go ahead and go into your tool space, which is right here. Kind of slow down for you. And then go into the settings tab. We'll open this up a little bit more so we can see more of what we've got going on. Okay, now what we're going to do is under point, we're going to expand that. Then we have label styles. Go ahead and expand that. This is a label styles collection. That's the standardized name for this. Then we're going to click on standard, right click, and select copy. We get our label style composer dialog box. And you can see we've got standard listed right here, but we also have in these little brackets, we've got a, a copy since we're dealing with a copy. We're going to change the name to manhole UDP. Then after that, we're going to go into our Layout tab. See, we've got a preview listed right here to show what we're going to be dealing with whenever we make our changes. Okay, and over here, we want to make sure that we're on point label style and not on point style. So be sure you're on that. So now any edits that you make to the point label style will be displayed in the preview pane. What we're going to do now is we're going to click this button right here. <clears throat> to create a text component. This is the text component for our label. And see already we're, we're getting something going on right here in our preview. Okay, in our component editor right here, for the name, we're going to call this invert in. For our anchor component, we're going to change this to point description. Then for anchor point, we're going to anchor this to the bottom left. And then for the text attachment, we're going to change this to top left. And you can see all of these changes being reflected in our preview pane. Now under text for contents, we're going to change this. We're going to highlight this portion right here, which is our text. We've 
got our text component editor, our dialog box on the properties tab. We're going to specify the following parameters. Let's see here under properties. We're going to go to manhole, which correlates or corresponds to our name, which is invert in. That's our pipe in invert. Then for our precision, we're going to change this to two decimal places. Then we're going to, this is very important, again, make sure that once you've made all of these changes, click this arrow right here to activate that. Puts it into the preview pane. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click in front of this, click in front of our code, and we're going to type in invert in colon then space. Then after that, click OK. And you can see how that changes. Actually, if I wanted to, I can click my middle wheel and I can zoom real time in and out or if I hold down on the middle click wheel I can pan so you can see what's going on in this preview window And that's how you go about creating a label style that displays a user-defined property. Click OK. That's it, folks. Okay, let's see what else we've got going on here. Okay. That's roughly about a 15-minute exercise. I think we're going to stop for today, folks. We're going to call today. And I hope this helps you. <clears throat> Feel free to visit civil3d.tv to check out any other live streams. Sign up for the email list. Make sure you stay